hello guys hello guys uh, welcome to another video uh here we are going to look at vic 75 i know some of you love this one i also love it myself so we're gonna do a top-down analysis and see if we can get any trade ideas from this or setups or signals right so make sure that you stay with me till the end so that you can see how i do a breakdown of this and also come up with that trade setup at the end right so let's see let's get started so if you're new here make sure that you check out other videos that i have on this channel and also if you like this style of trading where you just make your decisions based on the structure and no indicators no nothing we just make our, our decisions based on a chart like this then this is the channel for you all right so let's get started so you know when you do uh, analysis it's always best that you start at the highest time frame and then work your way down right and the last time when we did analysis on this one right remember we had a very nice bullish trend line at some point and what what happened was that the price came and tested that trend line and then it reacted from it and then after reacting from it it went up it went up and then this is the highs that it reached which is basically more like around that resistance day and then it came back again when it came back uh you can see what it did is that it, it sort of engulfed uh, the bullish structure so basically the bulls are going up the best engulfed them there that's when you can see that oh it seems like the bears are very angry and they took out the areas of support and then they went to the nearest ones that's why when the price came to this one we were so gunning for saying looking for buy trades buy trades because of what the location allowed us to look for those buy trades and even when you're looking for buy trades you need to understand that nothing goes uh, to the upside forever nothing goes to the downside forever so it's very important for you to be able to identify the nearest zones where the price is let's say for instance you're holding a buy trade and it's going up you must be able to identify the nearest level that the price is going to be sensitive to and it might cause the price to reject and go back down so you need to be able to spot those areas so that when the price gets to them you need to exit your trades you don't have to fight them those zones you don't have to predict that they're going to be broken or anything like that you just need to say oh here it seems like we're going to struggle to pass here let me take my profit i'm out so here we have got this is our support and we've got you know remember in the previous video i told you that anywhere from this is this white candlestick anywhere from there the price might struggle to break that because this is the one that pushed you know that gave the final push and broke you know pushed below the trend line so that's why uh, anywhere from that you could say now the price might find some sensitivity and go back down and if you look at this we basically have like some some reaction there we don't know if this is going to be a reaction like this you know we break the trend line go back to the zone that break it that broke that trend line and then do that we don't know if that's going to be the case here but we're just saying it has hit, uh, hit a very sensitive area that's why we're not surprised when we're seeing something like this which is why i got a sell trade uh, i just didn't make a video on that one i got a sell trade and then it was going nicely and then you know it hit at some point it hit a very uh it was a fair area of support but i was like nope i know this fair area of support is from i think it was on daily or h4 so if it's on h4 and i'm holding a trade because i was seeing some some you know price touching uh, a monthly area of resistance so you can see that we from the resistance we've got a high chance of what of winning there because of what we are coming from a, a weekly uh, uh, so a monthly structure so because of that when the price got to that i was like it has got high chances of what breaking it so but what i suggest you do when you hit the opposite structure if i had one trade i was going to exit it because i didn't have one trade some i exited there and then i just like no it's got high chances of what of continuing so for that reason let me leave one trade running and the rest was history as you can see here the currently the price moved all the way to the downside but we'll see when we get to those time frames so now let's continue this is all that we have we know we are touching this now we've got this so but it doesn't mean it just has to go like that in one go it can still have some nice bullish trends in between so what is important for you to is for you to identify those structures right now we are on our weekly chart right and this is what the structure looks like on weekly uh, i think on weekly we've got this as our area of support and we have got the area of resistance still quite far that's your area of resistance because we had it here and it was taken out and in terms of a trend line let me see the weekly area uh, trend line it's it's somewhere here let me show you because that's why the guys that uh, i'm teaching the guys that are that they paid and say they want me to teach them uh, they know the ones in the mentorship they know that the trend line has to stay there we don't have a trend line anywhere there you need to be able to spot the the, the areas or, or, or the points the exact points where you have to break your trend line i mean to place your trend line there is your bearish trend line and you can see that it was hit so as much as the price here it was hitting uh, it was touching your monthly resistance it was also touching what your weekly bearish 
trend line. We understand that the price has moved above the weekly area of resistance, but it hasn't broken the second structure and it also hit highest time frame resistance. So it has got high chances of what still being pushed back to the downside, and that's the case here. And again, remember in the previous video we spoke about this one and say we've got the, the rejections there, we've got a high chance of what punching up towards the trend line, and it happened as you can see. Now the price is back inside this uh, weekly area of support and you're not gonna trade that why because there are there are, there are certain things that are here that you can see that they will make you not to take this uh, trade even though you can say your weekly is bullish if you want to put like it's not yet bullish sorry if you say you can say we just broke the resistance the bulls maybe they can continue pushing up but this it's not something that is it, it can reject the price but it's not high odd simply because of what it went up and then came back quickly and also we are coming from the monthly so there's just a lot of factors pushing to the downside so if you are trying to get it by the short term maybe on your h1 or so make sure that it's going to be a short term thing and it has to be with confirmation because the bigger guys they say they are suggesting that we've got a chance of still continuing to go to the downside and if you want also which is something that's a, that's a bit uh what you call this advanced you can also put your your zone there and say that's your resistance but that's a story for another day that's a story for another day let's continue let's continue so from here we are also saying this has got high chances of still continuing to the downside it's just that the week has just started if maybe it was friday we would also comment and say we have got bearish engulfing but now we're not going to comment on this because this can still change in the next four days so we cannot comment on a candlestick that is still open so now this is our daily chart so our daily chart looks something like this and it was uh, very much bullish i think now that is about to change and you can see that as much as it was bullish and we had a very nice trend line there we have a very nice area of of support there but it's bad because of what the pin bar that we got here and the takeoff from that is very nice and now another disadvantage is that this guy is coming from a weekly trend line it's coming from a monthly area of what of resistance so you can see that us trying to push against that it's not wise it's not good idea yes it can work but you don't have to put yourself through uh, such uh you know experiences all you have to make sure that you say uh we maybe if you just wait and say the price if it breaks this support and it breaks the trend line it means my daily is bearish and maybe if it pulls back because you can see this move from the top it was very smooth move this was a very smooth move maybe after that it will give you a pullback you need to be patient when you're trading so the pullback towards maybe that or whatever if you find another zone there that's what you can get knowing very well that now the structure here changed completely it's fancy to the downside and it is a backup from the monthly area of resistance uh, i mean monthly uh, trend line and monthly area of resistance and, uh, and and weekly bearish trend line so that's when you can say it can go to the downside but if you're getting some reactions there and you are a risk taker your account allows and but don't over risk you want those short-term trades maybe the price will be reacting from that zone you need to be careful though but you can do that your own risk make sure that you get confirmation for that and make sure that you move your stop loss as the price is moving up because you don't know the problem with trading the pullbacks is that you don't know how far the pullback is gonna go so because of that it's always uh tricky as to like where exactly must i exit and stuff like that so that's what i'm saying if you take that trade you need to make sure that as the price is moving up you follow it with your stop loss and don't be greedy exit right now let's see what the other time frame look like yes this is what i had right uh, my trade i took it from where was it let's just look at the structure i took it from somewhere around if i can zoom in so that you can see uh yes somewhere around here exactly around there that's where i took it right as you can see the screenshot here on the screen and the price was moving down nicely and you can see that's what i'm saying you have a very nice trend line you've got the price touching your trend line you've got the areas of support you are bullish on this h4 but the buying was not high odd remember trading is a it's a it's a probability game so you always need to make sure that you only take the setups that are high probable kind of a setups because of what even if those ones that don't score higher they work out it's fine it's fine you didn't have to risk your money there. it was not worth it so in this case as much as you've got the bullish trend line holding nice areas of support buying was not a good idea simply because all these reasons that i've been mentioning you are you are you are at the monthly resistance you are at the weekly bearish trend line all these big guys here they are pushing down you and your h4 you want to push up from a trend line you see it's not worth it hey, that's why even when I'm, i was holding my trades when the price got to this i exited got to this i exited then i was like from here 
all I have to do is to push my uh, my stop loss lower than that because remember it was possible that you're trading H4 you've got this and you've broken the trend line you've broken the area of support I was like you see from around there this price can still go up and retest that before continuing so because of that I just need to make sure that the remaining trade I plug my stop loss below the thing so that even if it goes up it doesn't take out all the money that I made and in this case it just stayed there and then it continued and when it hit this that's where my final TP was at I need to exit there as much as we can say we are coming from the day I mean the monthly area of resistance weekly area uh, trend line yes but it doesn't mean the price has to make these candlesticks all the time it's not going to do this all the time it can still move up before continuing which is why you must never make a mistake of looking past any point you see you see where you are you're inside this zone yes this zone uh it's uh, when you compare it to where we are coming from it's weaker but you can still hold the price maybe until there uh, before continuing or even reverse you see so anything is possible so because of me i knew the location that uh, the price is going to struggle to pass there because this is a sensitive area that's why uh, as you can see here i used this guy as my final tp and that's it you see that's it that's how you should trade so now now that we are here now that we are here going forward what do you think is going to happen we know that in terms of the daily i said because of what you are inside this daily area of support and it's fresh if you get some short-term trades you can do that but don't push your luck and say i'll exit in next year march it's possible but uh, it's not worth it you need to be a uh, sangoma for you to, to to predict such you need to be a traditional healer for you to predict such because wow it's, 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 it's i know it's not worth it honestly so from here because we know our h4 is bearish i said the best thing to do right is to put your trend line there and if it's broken and the support is taken out the pull back towards a valid resistance get confirmation there sell to the downside but if you want to say you are inside the daily support and you want to continue to the to upside you can do that but for as long as you know that what you are doing is going against the biggest guys so it needs to be short term and because it's going against the other guys it needs to be with confirmation then you can do that so let's see our, our h4 and see the structure allows that uh, in terms of the support on this time frame okay this is not yet taken out so it means your support is still anywhere around there we are still inside your daily i mean h4 support which is inside the daily support but now the problem is that you've got this guy which is very close so maybe if you are on m15 trading your m15 you exit there the space might be big enough if you're trading that side or if you want to trade here let them convince you by taking that one out then you push back then you can catch it and say maybe you're targeting the next one then you need to be out because of what this can just be a pullback before there the sellers continue because that's what i'm saying when the price is moving to the downside for instance and it's making some uh, uh when in terms of the candlesticks you can see they are red and they're very long if this is the momentum yes it looks nice when you're holding the trade but you can still push back you see it can still have a, 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 a remember the way the price moves it makes an impulse and then correction impulse and then correction so that when you have a fresh nice long impulse it looks nice but be careful with your stop losses because it can still fall very hard you know if it was going up so that's why you're saying when the price looks like that sometimes it's very dangerous because it can it can come with a very extended uh what do you call this a very extended um pullback so in this case yes you can see that uh, the price is forming what you call sort of a uh, bearish uh, pin bar if you want to call it that or indecision whatever you want to call it and the current pin uh, can stick it uh, most likely going to close as a bullish engulfing so because of that maybe on your smaller time frame it will break the trend line then the pushback of that you can buy for instance this is what i mean because remember when you're moving down to your h1 for instance you'll have more candlesticks and you'll be able to maybe put your trend line there or put it here anywhere you want to put it that's fine so you can see that that bullish engulfing on your h4 is breaking the trend line this side then you can just say uh, maybe that uh, shift in momentum to the upside is convincing enough for you to say I can take some short uh, buy trades from here should the price push back give me uh, any signs of reversal there then i'll be pushing up but remember you are targeting all your opposite structures here and also because this is h1 also the h4 will be the final one maybe this one will be taken out if not then you'll be targeting this as well or that one that's it so i gave you two scenarios that are possible from this and both of them i gave you the reasons why they are both possible for you to continue selling you need to wait for this guy to be taken out first so that's why for me selling i took it from up there because of what location 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 where we were located so for you to sell here not a good idea we need to sell high and then buy low we need to sell high buy low that's what you need to do when the price is too high you can see it was moving up nicely it doesn't mean that it has to continue like that some of you are, are, are sort of um how can i put this some of you are very you are scared when you see bullish candlesticks and you are planning your sell trade 
you are very scared. You feel like it will just continue with your trade, hit the stop loss. Yes, it, it can do that. But you have your reasons why you are searching for a buy sell trade when the price is going up. And in this case, you can see I got my sell trade and all of a sudden we had bearish engulfing. Then I was like, oh, this increases the odds in my favor. Then it pushed down, continued like that. And it hit my, my, my thing, my take profit. You see, as long as the trade that you are taking, you assess it in advance, you make your decision, you risk management, you adhere to that. You don't over risk. Even if it hits your stop loss, it's fine. You calculated the loss in advance. You knew how much it was and it's not going to take out the entire account. Don't be scared. What goes up, at some point it will come down. And if you feel like now it is most likely going to go down, then do it. Pull the trigger. You see? So I gave you the reasons to say that if you want to continue selling, I think it will be safer if you take out the trend line that support, then you can continue selling like that. But if you want to continue, if you want to buy from here, it's a short term thing because of the, 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 the what you call this, the weekly and the, 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 the monthly, because they are pushing to the downside. So you can say you're going to sell, maybe buy until there or maybe there if you are lucky. But this is good high chance of going to the downside. And if you are trading things like H1, where you have a nice trend line, it's taken out, this go up. Because now if it comes down and then it doesn't give you confirmation there, but rather it goes and break this low, this side, it means you'll be saying we have a new low. Then you can just have this as your trend line and say we are back to bearish. Then maybe that will break that daily support and trend line. Then you can continue selling like that. That's it. We will monitor it throughout the week and see if we can get trades. And then we will give, have like a follow up setup, maybe or follow up on assessment or analysis, maybe on Wednesday and see if, if uh, it played or it moved. As, as, as we predicted or if the structure is changing or anything like that i will update you guys all right so this is gonna be the end of the video so if you enjoy this type of uh, educational videos you're most uh, welcome to, to to sort of text me or also you can just subscribe the videos that i put here they should be enough for you to learn anything or two all right guys i'll see you in the next video thank you